Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I wanted to share with you a review of The Storyteller's Handbook, created by Lise Hurst, with a foreword by Neil Gaiman. And I have to bring it closer so you guys can see. This book is absolutely gorgeous, but this is not like other picture books. This was published by Compendium in 2002. It was written and illustrated by Lise Hurst and edited by Kobe Yamada, who does incredible picture books as well. The blurb on the back of the book says, what you are holding in your hands is no ordinary storybook. It contains an infinite number of stories. And each time you open it, a new story is born. Each page, every detail is a new adventure just waiting to be told. And the most magical thing of all is you are the storyteller here. There are strange lands, mythical creatures, curious animals, and intriguing characters. The possibilities are as endless as your imagination. What happens next is up to you. And this book is not a book with a straight narrative. Quite literally, you can open up to any page and there'll be an illustration that is designed as a prompt for telling a story. And this book is filled with beginnings, middles and ends of stories. And every time you open it, there is a new story there for you to tell. And you could open up to the same page and tell a different story the next time. So it's a really unique book and one that, I mean, on its own, is a gorgeous book full of incredibly detailed, beautiful illustrations. There are even pages with quotes or poems that you can use as prompts as well. But you open up the book and you just see these gorgeous illustrations. Like it's an absolutely stunning book. And if all you wanted it for was a coffee table book, that would be perfectly fine. But this has so many more uses than that. This is such a fantastic book to have in a classroom. It is appropriate for all ages, although younger kids would probably find this a little bit harder to use independently as a writing prompt. It would be great for discussions to pull out one page and actually have a talk about it and see what kind of stories you can come up orally. So it's great for oral storytelling. But with older readers, it's a really great way to stimulate and generate ideas for writing because as the synopsis says the possibilities are endless and the way that one person views each page is not going to be the same as the person next to them so this is great for visual writing prompts it's great for writer's notebook for just even using it as a jumping off point and writing down all of your ideas and just brainstorming i love that it doesn't lead you into one story it leads you into multiple stories no matter where you are in the book and i just love how much detail has gone in to creating such wonderful images that could inspire anyone. I was so glad that I found this book and I'm so glad that I have a copy because it's such a, a beautiful book, but also an invaluable teaching tool for encouraging young writers. So I will leave a link to where you can find out more information about this book down below. I do hope you check it out because it's absolutely stunning. If you wanna let me know that you're here, but you don't leave a comment, feel free to leave your favorite animal emoji down below. Otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.